information as the city of Dayton cuts funds. Uh, the Dayton City Commission passed its 2021 budget resolution today, but some were not happy about funding cuts to the Human Relations Council. And two news reporter Lee Williamson spoke with a commissioner and a member of the HRC to learn more. Mark, as of this afternoon, there were more than 400 signatures from people asking the commission to reconsider cutting these funds to the Human Relations Council. But Commissioner Matt Joseph told me that 18 to 19 million dollars were cut from the overall budget in the city after the pandemic. But they're still looking for ways to fund the Human Relations Council. The Dayton Human Relations Council was established in 1962 to keep peace, order, and harmony among residents and visitors of Dayton. Today, they're involved in many tasks. They're managing the civil rights cases, they're managing the HUD, they're managing the Business and Technical Assistance Center, which has three pillars under it. So it's just like it's a lot of work. Um, for them to be able to do that. Deja Demings, vice chair of the HRC, says low funding and resources are affecting one group in Dayton the most. This this is affecting minorities. Um, this is this is just a big deal. We're just really trying to get people to uh, pay attention to that. The city commission voted Wednesday to cut one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, or thirteen percent, from the HRC's budget. We all, all five of us, support HRC and the mission of HRC. And we know, especially in these times, how vital it is. Uh, but that said, we have been working on this budget process to, to bring a balance to all the services that need to, to be taken care of. Like we still have to run all of these programs with no money, with no team, you know what I mean? But Commissioner Matt Joseph says the city manager's recommendation was to cut about 15 to 20 percent for all departments. We still need to knock down abandoned houses. We still need to make sure that uh, streets get paved and trash gets picked up. He says today's resolution vote doesn't mean the end of the HRC's work. It's not going anywhere. In fact, this role will probably increase as the year goes on. But going forward, we're going to make changes as necessary. Um, if, if we're really pushing for this equity, we have to support that. And we don't have to just support that with words. We have to support it with our dollars, right? Commissioner Joseph also shared with me that federal funding currently being discussed in the Senate could help the overall budget. He encouraged anyone who's concerned about budget cuts to reach out to their representative. In Dayton, Aaliyah Williamson, 5 on 2.